Hey guys, Randy with AT3Tactical.com. If you're sitting there and you find yourself in the same predicament like me, your AR handguard in one hand and your nearly complicated upper build in the other, uh, then let's get right to it. How to install your handguard, meaning securely and reliably attaching it to your barrel nut. Uh, not all AR-15 or AR-style rifle nuts or barrel nuts are the same, but we will hit on the styles that you'll run into the most. Let's get it done. First and foremost, what are the tools that we need to get the J-O-B done the right way? Actually, not too many, because nine times out of ten, the majority of tools you will need will come with your new hand protector. In the case of Aero Precision and their Aero Taper Lock Attachment System, or ATLAS, uh, you just get a cute little Torx tool. Uh, for our free float quad rails and spear M-Lock handguards, it's a set of four set screws and two Allen wrenches, something like Stinger, uh, a set of set screws, and an anti-walk, anti-rotation plate. Are we able to cover every single barrel nut retention method out there today? Probably not. Uh, but the AR handguard retention system is definitely one of those areas where handguard manufacturers, they seem to constantly be seeking to improve. Uh, not a bad thing by any means, as there's something to be said about always improving the foxhole. It's a good motto to live by in my book. Oh, two more tools that we always are using around here. A dab or two of blue Loctite for the set screws, a Q-tip or two for the residual cleanup, and a trusted inch-pounds torque wrench. Guys, if you know you might come across a handful of times where you'll need a specific inch-pounds of torque, then uh, consider investing in a decent driver. Otherwise, go borrow one from your buddy, or yeah, I think you can actually rent tools from auto parts stores or hardware stores. Might be worth checking out. With that, tools are splayed out on the workbench, and we are ready for step one, as always, We've got an entire full-length feature video on handguards alone in our AR-15 series in case anything that we touch on here doesn't quite ring a bell or if you're needing a little refresher. All right, also down there, you'll find this here fully decked out M&P Sport 15 as a giveaway for this month. Uh, yours truly took a couple personal liberties with in altering, so get signed up to win. Links are also down below. On to step number one, and here we get a feel for the fitment of our handguard. Uh, notice how we didn't install the muzzle device yet. Uh, we're saving that one for the next how-to, but important to note here, the point of step one, or checking the, fit, the fitment, is to get a sense of alignment with your upper receiver. Point two is to see if you'll be able to install your muzzle device with your handguard in place. Believe me, you do not want to get your handguard all installed and set only to look down the barrel and realize you covered the wrench flats for your muzzle device and it's time to start all over. It's not fun. On to step number two, if your muzzle device needs to go on first or if you prefer to add it first, doesn't matter, skip on over to the install video, then come on back for the rest of us. Uh, it's the larger diameter fasteners to install first if your retention system is similar to mine. The point of these two set screws is to squeeze your handguard around the barrel nut. Uh, the Spear M-Lock uh, handguards, those set screws get torqued to 40 inch pounds or just a slight quarter turn past hand tight, but best practices is to use the torque driver. Uh, Time-saving tip here, a dab of blue of the blue stuff on the set screws and getting them started before throwing your handguard on, it helps for step number three. Step three is aligning your handguard and getting it set. Uh, the Picatinny rail confluence here where the upper and the handguard come together, uh, I like to squeeze right between that joint to keep everything aligned and then give one of the set screws a little tighten to hold it. We are now tightening those two down to 40 inch pounds until you hear the audible click in your torque driver. And for Stinger handguards, kind of like this one here, you would have installed the anti-slide tab in the handguard first in between and then tighten. Uh, at that point, your job would be done. Same with the Arrow Atlas approach uh, with their Atlas tightening system. 
I do gotta tell you, although that system is sleek looking, it can be a bear to just get one thread started on the wedge on one side while trying to tighten the other side and all while keeping the whole shooting match centered and aligned until it's installed flush. It's, again, not my favorite, but it does hold solid for sure. We're on to step number four in your AR handguard installation. May or may not apply to you, but will apply to quite a few of you. A uh, couple more longer, thinner set screws to bite into the bottom of the barrel nut and ensure that the whole thing doesn't go slipping around while you beat it up. Uh, trick here, blue Loctite on them as well, and they go in. Quickest way I found to get this done, we're threading one screw at a time, at least 80% to fully seated. Uh, starting with the long end of the Allen wrench just to catch a few threads, then switch over to the short end and then helicopter motion to cinch that up there fast. Once both are in, a firm and tight hand tighten is really all they need to work their magic. And just like that, we've hit the final step, which is to head on over to the next video over here where we are installing and timing your AR's muzzle device, be it a flash hider, a comp, or a brake. It's coming up next. For the love of Uncle Sam Sr., go sign up to win a rifle. We'll see you over there.